Ma'am's here, 637-0094, that's our number. Ma'am, did you have a question? Yes, I had a question. Um, we, I filed our 2020 tax, and we had a, to do the amendment, and we received our own check, but when we went back to the tax filer, they told us that we didn't have to file the amendment. Are you talking about the recovery rebate credit? Yes. Yeah. Uh, the, um, the one from the poor? I wish Daphne was still on the phone. Uh, but there is there's an amendment, right? You have to file. Uh, yeah, you have to file that, ma'am. Well, I went back to my tax preparer, and yeah. they told me and my son that we don't need to file it. Well, I believe that uh, they said that you did. That's why they came out with it. Bree, do you? Um, the only reason why I called up to ask because I'm confused. I went back to my tax filer because they told me to go to my tax filer to do my amendment. Yeah. But then they told us we didn't need to. Yeah, ma'am. But, you know, no matter who's filing your taxes, at the end of the day, whose own signature is on there? Our signature. Right. Yeah. So we gotta you got to make sure you're covered. Uh, you know what? I'll ask... Uh, and then just keep listening to the show forever, every day from beginning to end, and I will announce the answer to your question. Okay. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. How are you doing out there, though, ma'am? Talk to me. Uh, are you okay? Uh, we're okay. How are, um, you, are you stressed? Oh, yeah. I get anxiety. Regarding? Uh, this vaccination and unvaccinated, I really think that the governor really lost her faith in our island. That's what I believe. Wow. Why would you say that, ma'am? Because this is the home of, we, we are protected. We are protected, and for her to think that being vaccinated and unvaccinated to separate people like that, it it causes conflict. And um, it, it, it's not right. I'm unvaccinated. My husband's vaccinated. But my husband doesn't force me to be vaccinated because I don't work. He works. Mm. Wow, so if you guys were to go out to dinner, you couldn't go. Your husband has to go by himself. They prefer cooking at home because they like the way I cook because I can cook. I can tell you can cook. <laughs> so I really don't think that, you know, I mean, last year we closed it down. We weren't, you know, we all listened to what she had to say because we all believed in her. Now this time around, I don't understand. I mean, look at all these kids that are being being tested and they become positive. And she should have thought about that. But to me, I see that she lost her faith in our island and our people. I really do think if she just looked at our people and listened to the doctors, because they're the ones that knows what's really going on. How about the businesses? We had the uh, businesses on last week, and they said, Madam Governor, cut us down to 50% occupancy. I mean, when you have businesses saying cut our occupancy because they're scared of this surge and all the positive cases, that kind of says something, huh? Oh, it does. I mean, if, if you really look at it, I feel sorry. I, I Honestly, I feel sorry for those businesses out there. But she is the governor, and she's supposed to be helping those businesses. That's the reason why they gave her that money, is to help the people. That's what she's supposed to do, is help our people, whether they're working or not. I Believe it or not, I have a son that's working for the government. But I express my feelings and saying, hey, you know, other people are out there under the private sector that are struggling out there, trying to find jobs. If, it, if they didn't close that thing down, if they didn't close it last year, it won't be like this. Mm -hmm. But because of this pandemic, everybody agreed to being safe. Then she reopens it up, and then she says, only the people that are going to be vaccinated to enter the restaurant? I really think that that's ridiculous because they still test positive. They still go into the hospital. They still have children. So it, what, what makes a difference between an unvaccinated? I understand it helps the, the sickness. But nobody's for sure what it can do. Vaccinated, you, you can still die from it, whether you're vaccinated or not. It's being, it's being careful out there. Mm. Honestly, Chris, I, I've, been, I've been here. Here, here, ma'am. 
and I have no water since how many years ago. I called the governor's office to help the people that don't have water under the Chamorro Land Trust. Did they come out and help us? No, they took it away from us. They took the tanks. They took everything. What did we do? We look up above and wait for that rain to come down, to wash our hands, to be to, to sanitize. I go out there and I get water, purified water, when I don't need to. Ma'am, I don't what, need to do that. What would be your response, though, to, to people who say, well, the governor is making these tough decisions uh, for our people that uh, no other governor has ever experienced this, and this is a pandemic that's going on across the globe, and that she's doing her best, and that it's a rapidly evolving situation. You know, now, uh, Sabrina, if the governor really, really looks, overlooks this, they've had governors before her. Put that politics in one side. Because this is not about politics anymore. This is about the people. This is about her and her family. This is about everybody in that island. Whether or not, whatever races they are, we're all human. We're all human and everybody should be treated. That's why she should put her hand out. Call Governor, the, the, uh, the Governor Calvo, call Camacho. Put their hands together. Democrat, Republicans, it doesn't matter. Not at this moment. This has nothing. That's why our island is the way it is, because they forgot about their faith. Whether you're Mormon, whether you're Jehovah, whether you're Christians, we all can put hands. I open my door to anybody because I want to listen. I want to listen to what they have to say because everybody has one God. But if she really believes on the doctors, if she really believes in the doctors and she believes not one doctor, not only city people, Cabrera, Mike, everybody, if they all put their hands together, we will come through because the people is doing their job. The people is doing the job, not, not her. She's not doing it for us. We are doing our own job. Everybody knows we have to take care of our children. We have to teach our children. And in our culture, to more culture, what do we do? We don't separate ourselves. We weren't raised that way. So if she really looks, looks back how she was raised, and she knows, I have nothing against her. I, I, I don't care about politics. But if you believe in yourself as a governor, knowing that you're going to do the right thing, work with the legislature, work with the congressmen. Stop going against each other. Because honestly, right now, we're being tested. We're all being tested. Ma'am, uh, wow, you. thank you, Auntie. Uh, you know, the senators, uh, when you talk about the legislature, they had uh, submitted to the governor a plan to use, I think I want to say $20 million from the American Rescue Plan to put infrastructure into Chamorro Land Trust properties, but the governor didn't even write them back. So I'm praying that uh, they use some of this money. You're right. It, it's a damn shame we're in 2021 and there's people on our island with no running water and they need to be helped yesterday last year yeah yeah I, I i spoke out and i asked i called homeland security i called the governor's office i called guam water i said come on man if you people want people to be to wash their hands and be safe look out look how go to tomorrow land and look at the places that need help because if I've been to the mayor's office, okay, and I ask. I, this is my words to them is, if you have a tank that I can rent for one month to have water, to wash my hands, give me, let me know. But that's what they don't realize. Water is not being made. It comes from the ground. That's God-given. For the people why do we have to pay for water oh i understand because this to technology we have to filter our water back then we didn't have to filter our water 
how we filter our water is boiling our water. Why is it so hard that water is a necessity? Power is not a necessity. Water is a necessity for everybody. That's how we're going to survive. Thank you, ma'am. I don't know. This thing, technology and all these things, our island, our Mariana Islands, we're supposed to be out there fishing. We shouldn't have nothing like that where we have to, there's certain places we have to go to survive. This is all, this is, we forgot. This is Santa Maria and Commonland's own island. They protect us. Just like the typhoon, what do we do? We pray. When they have earthquakes, we pray. This pandemic is going to run over everybody? Come on. Governor, please, I, un I ask you to overlook all these things because people are praying for you. Thank you, ma'am, for your thoughts this morning. God bless you. Thank you. You guys be safe. Yeah. You too. And thank you for everything. Best God bless you guys. Thank on. you. Right on. 917. Wow. I'm sleepless. Yeah. Oh, we're going to take a break. Uh, we're coming back. Um, we talk about this uh, pandemic uh, affecting and impacting people. We're going to go in with some of our uh, local nonprofits um, to talk about uh, the way forward. Pua ending. What's it looking like? Uh, it's Tuesday, August 31st. This is the link. Good morning. Make it through the week. KUAM 